Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain HVMC, joined with Chris Kiefer from Kiefer Ring Testing. We've also got his son, Aiden Kiefer, and Riley Bruff from the RMX Academy. And today, we're doing our premium boot shootout, Chris. Yeah, excited. A lot of emails that I get on over on my website about which boot is most comfortable, has most protection, feel, um, can it, will it fit my big legs, grip, uh, on the bike. grip on the bike. So there's a lot of things to break down here. We're excited to get the information out to you and uh, rank our podium. Yeah, so each rider is gonna give their top three boots during the day, including what they felt was their favorite boot. But also keep in mind that we're gonna do separate videos on each individual boot. Every rider will go through, give their likes and dislikes about all of them. So no matter what you're looking for in a boot, if it's the most ankle support, the stiffest, the, the most flex right out of the box, we will have that information for you. So sit back, relax, enjoy it, see what we like about these boots and then watch those individuals when we're all done. All right, just wrapped up here, Mesquite MX. Boot shootout, I'm Chris Kiefer. This is my podium. Third place here, Liat 5.5. A uh, couple things about this boot. One thing that I love about this boot is it has a narrow uh, toe box and a small toe box so I can get my foot under the shifter. Comfort is also good. One negative for me is seamless feel. Uh, some of this plastic in my ankle does catch on my frame at times when I'm gripping. Uh, second place for me, Fox 2.0 Instinct. Uh, they've worked hard on this boot over the last couple years. One thing you can really rely on when you get a Fox is lightweight, man. If you have bad knees or you just want a boot that you can slide in and go ride, no problem, don't have to break it in, this is this boot right here, Fox 2.0. Maybe the negative of that is that these things do get flimsy over time. They may not last as long as these other boots in this shootout, but if you want the most comfort out of your boot, Fox 2.0, Instinct, and then the old tried and true number one right here for me, Alpine Stars Tech 10. It's just an all around great boot. It has the most protection. Obviously they use the inner booty system within this boot. Toe box is low and narrow, I like that. Um, it has just, it accommodates a wide range of riders. If you're looking for protection and comfort, um, very hard to find, but it does do that and I appreciate that. If I can knock this boot a little bit, it is a little bit heavier than the other, so it does take a little bit more effort uh, in the ruts and in the corners. So uh, top three for me right here, Alpine Stars, and of course Fox 2.0 Instinct, and then the Liat 5.5. All right, Riley Bruff here. Just finished up our premium boot shootout. I'm here to give you my top three. Real quick, I just wanna say, the two that did not make the podium, this was much harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was gonna be clear cut, one through five, and turns out all of these boots do things really well. So this podium is extremely, was an extremely tight race. Third place, the Garnet SG22. This thing surprised me because the last time I wore a Garnet, it was a 12, it was a little bulky. Um, this 22, I, I'm very impressed with how small the toe box is, how much um, ankle flexion you had. Uh, one drawback, and probably the only thing that kept this thing from winning, was I got a hot spot right here, right on the outside of my shin that, you know, I think these are gonna be my dailies. Um, shortly and I'm gonna see if that'll break in or not. So we'll have to follow up there. Uh, second place, Alpine Star Tech 10. It's, uh, to be honest, when I came into this, I wanted to leave this boot off of the podium and man, there's a reason why, why this is the most popular boot out there. Um, tons of ankle support, tons of foot peg feel. Uh, really, the only negative I have to say about it is so much ankle support that it's a little too stiff at times. Sitting down for corners can't quite get my ankle where I want it. Um, and then just the combined does everything very well. It's got to be my winner, the Fox Instinct. Uh, insanely comfortable when you slip it on, just the most comfortable boot I think I've ever put on. Um, brand new, no, absolutely no break in time at shifting at the top of the toe box. Uh, and then just ankle, ankle movement, just super free the whole time. Uh, the only negative I think I have on this one is I still don't really know how well the, the ankle support holds up over time. It's so soft right out of the box that I feel like it may uh, get a little bit unsupportive as time goes on. But yeah, Fox Instinct's gotta be my number one all the way around. 
What's up guys, Aiden Kiva here, and this is my podium right here. So in third, I chose the Lee at 5.5 because I like how slim the toe box is. It's easier to get my foot under the shifter. I haven't been getting good starts lately, and I really like a small toe box. So that was, that's one thing that I like about it. One thing that I didn't like about it was I got a pressure point on the top of my foot, and it kind of just got a little uncomfortable. But other than that, great boot. It actually surprised me, and that's why it is third. And second, we have the Fox Instinct. Um, I got to wear this boot before it was even released. Kenny Day had me wear it, um, and I liked it then. Initially putting it on, uh, ankle support. Um, it feels very tight around the ankle right here, which I like. I don't like my ankle moving around as much. And the champion right here, Alpine Star Tech 10s. It looks good. Ankle support, I like the ankle support. Um, one thing that I don't like about it is it's a little heavy. It's a little bit on the heavy side, which after a while it gets waterlogged and just gets heavier. So that's, that's the downfall of it. All right, everyone. So you just watched Riley, Chris, and Aiden give their podium, and I'm here to finish it all off. So for me, overall podium coming in in third place, Alpine Stars Tech 10. Just like everyone has already talked about, the most supportive impact support you're gonna find in a boot. If you're gonna over jump or case something, this is the boot that you want. I think these boots have, honestly, the best peg feel of all the boots that we rode in today. I really enjoy that. The only drawbacks to me with the Tech 10 is that I do get a hot spot. For me on the inner booty, there's a little metal piece that is the support there. That was digging into my ankle a little bit, so it wasn't the most comfortable to wear throughout the entire day. And then, yeah, the weight is a factor just because they are on the heavier side, but it's the most supportive boot that you can get, and it does have really good peg feel. So, solid boot, that's why it's on my podium. From there, second place, Garnet SG22. So the 22 doesn't, I would say, do anything the best in all the categories that we talked about with the boots today as far as the, the flex and the peg feel and all that, but it doesn't do anything bad for me. It checks all the boxes. It could be better, I think, in certain categories, but overall, the fit is good, it's comfortable. I do think it fits about a half size, maybe a size large. Kiefer today, he normally wears a size 10, he wore my nines. So if you are on, say, the you know the small end of a size 10, you might wanna go down to a size nine, but overall for me, it's just the comfort's really good. I love how secure it holds my ankle in place. Not the best peg feel, but you know after you're riding for a little bit, you can get used to that. But yeah, I just like it also for riders that have larger calves, and if you wear a knee brace, the SG22 does have the largest calf opening of all the boots, and I think it does have the best buckle design of all the boots that we talked about today. Like I said, the only drawbacks to me is a little bit on the heavy side, and if the peg feel could be a little bit better and not use this old traditional sole, I get why they do use it. It lasts forever, just doesn't give the best peg feel. But overall, I just it's hard to find anything bad to say about the SG22 for me. And then, first place, Fox Instinct 2.0. Look, when I put these on, I just think it's by far just the most comfortable boot of all the ones that I wore today. This is the one boot that I can put on and instantly think I can wear this all day long. I don't need to take it off. I don't need to unbuckle it when I'm not riding. It's just that comfortable. So I love that aspect about it. It holds the ankle in place really well. I don't have any heel float, heel lift. It does all that great. Some of the riders have touched on it, maybe not the most supportive as far as like the impact goes. They do have their flex or their, they have a polyurethane insert inside the tongue to stiffen it up a little bit because with the previous instinct, that was the biggest problem is that it was just too soft. But for these, they put that insert inside there so they do maintain some of their stiffness over the life of the boot, but it's still gonna be a softer feeling boot compared to some of the others that are in this shootout today. So, but I'm okay with that, man. I just, right out of the box, I think this is just the best boot. The peg feel is really good. The Ultra Tac rubber that they use on the inside, to me, gives some of the best grip on the bike that is out there. The buckles aren't the worst, but they're not the best. But overall, for me, just the comfort, the flex, the feel, everything, it's just hard for me to beat the Instinct 2.0, and that is why it takes my top spot. 
And that is it. That is our podium here for the Premium Boot Shootout for all the riders. Again, we're going to show you a graphic that shows where all the riders ranked all the boots today. Now, we didn't talk a lot about the CD. That's because it didn't make anybody's podium, but that doesn't mean that we didn't have good feedback about that boot. Hopefully, this kind of helped you out and you know which one you feel might be best for you. But remember, we do have the individual boot breakdowns where we all go through and we get more detailed about each boot and what we like and disliked about each one. So be sure to check those videos out. You can find those by clicking the link or in the description down below. If you like this video and you want to stay up to date on shootouts like this, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.